David Eon here with an eBay rant, if you will. Yes, an eBay rant. To have something that's just recently been resolved with eBay. And I do occasionally sell on eBay, and it is a buyer's market. As bad as the sellers can be, because there are a lot of horror stories with sellers, believe it, the buyers are worse people who purchase things on eBay are worse. And I know there's other services, Macari and Facebook, Marketplace. Trust me, those are no better, okay? But this is a particular, and this happens a lot. This happens a lot to sellers. But this is my experience with this, and I'm just sharing it with you so you can see some of the difficulty that you have to go through. Now, this is a series of communications with eBay. I'm going to show you this first one. And you see I had sold a set of Monsters High Ghouls Alive dolls. And these are from 2012. And I had stated in the auction, they're, they're talking dolls, but the batteries are dead. They're not working condition. Factory sealed in the box, not working. Okay. So it says, the buyer is returning this item. And even if you put in your auction that you don't take returns, eBay will still make you take the item back if the buyer wants to return it. The buyer is returning Monster High, Three Ghouls Alive, doll set, blah, blah, blah. Per eBay's policy, this return has been automatically approved, and we've asked the buyer to send the item back. After the buyer ships the item, we share the tracking information with you. And by the way, when a customer returns something, you also pay for that shipping. Please inspect the item before issuing a refund. View the return details to issue a refund now if you like. You must issue a refund within two days of item being delivered. Now I don't have a copy of their explanation of why they're returning it, but basically they claim that they tried them and they don't work. And as I stated in the auction, they need new batteries and I'm like, hey, Jack, but did you change the batteries if you were going to open these up? But, you know, let's move on here. This is the next step that eBay takes. Your funds are on hold until this request is resolved. We've previously contacted you about a return request filed and an order placed. Until the request is resolved, the transaction amount will be withheld from future payouts. So they're holding the money. Now I'm going to show you. This is one of the pictures of the set. And you see, they're sealed, they look good, whatever. And as I pointed out, they're no longer talking. Um, if you wanted to open them up and put batteries in them, that's at the buyer's discretion, whatever. But he claimed that he tried them and they don't work. He didn't say he changed batteries or anything, just that he tried them and they didn't work. Okay? This is what I get back. Now I'm going to show you. One wrecked box. One wrecked box with a piece of a stand still in it. Two loose dolls. No accessories. Uh, this one is doesn't even have all of her clothing. I think I think she had underwear. She doesn't have them on now. And she's dirty. I don't even know if these are mine. If these are the ones I sent. Where, where's the other boxes? Where's the other doll? This is what gets returned to me. So I file a complaint. I'm like, because it did say, inspect it before you issue a refund. So I made a report back. I was like, hey, what the hell? This is, this is the response. We're reviewing your report. Thanks for letting us know about a buyer who may have been violating our policies. Here's a summary of your report. Reason. Returned an item after they opened, used, or damaged it. Comments. And this is me talking. Received package back. Contents are incomplete and with damage. Some parts are so worn I'm not even sure if these were mine as they were shipped brand new and sealed. This is their recommendation. We understand how frustrating this can be and that items returned, used, or damaged can be costly to you as a seller. However, the best course of action will be to refund your buyer? Seriously, eBay? Seriously. So I refused to issue the refund, obviously. This, 
this is not what I sent. This is not what I sent. Oh, there, there goes the stand again. So this was in there, but where's all the other parts? Where's the rest of her outfit? Where's the other doll? What the hell's going on? So I'm like, no, I'm not gonna return, I'm not gonna issue a refund. Even though, remember, they're holding the money. eBay is refusing to pay it out. So now we get this. We're stepping in to help resolve this return. We appreciate you trying to work things out with the buyer. They've asked us to step in and help resolve the, their return request. So we're going to take a look at the details of their case and decide what the next steps should be. You can expect an update from us within 48 hours. There's nothing you need to do, blah, blah, blah. A few hours later, we get this. The case is now closed. We reviewed this case and decided to issue the buyer a full refund. Bastards. We received tracking information from the buyer that shows successful delivery. A refund of US 109.90 was issued. And that's the, uh, the cost of the item plus shipping plus their taxes. And this does not count the return postage that I had to pay. The refund includes the purchase price plus original shipping. Refund amount will be recovered from eBay, from your eBay. All right. So they, they ignored the pictures that I sent, the complaint that, that I made, because when I made the initial complaint, I sent them photos of this and said, this is what they did. They didn't even put the packing material back in with these, my, my original packing material. They just crammed these in, in back in the box. It was the same box, but the, the packing material was gone. And of course, the other boxes and the other doll are gone. So they totally ignored that. And most likely, this is just an algorithm. So the algorithm went and checked the, um, checked the tracking number and was like, oh, yeah, problem solved, because that's what happens. So I go and I file an appeal. So we have this now. This is the reply to the appeal. I'm contacting you about the blah Monster High dolls you recently sold. I'm sorry that there's an issue with the return. To allow us to proceed with the eBay money back guarantee case, we need a signed affidavit from you stating that you received the returned item in altered condition, damaged, or did not receive it at all. As a next step, please print out and complete the declaration below. Once our declaration is fully complete, Please scan it or take a clear digital photograph and send it to us. Now, when I filed the appeal, of course, I sent them the pictures again and gave them the same descriptor again. So now they send me this, and this is the attachment. I have to fill this out. Basically, as you see on the line above where the date marker is, I declare under penalty of perjury that all statements submitted herewith are true to the best of my knowledge. So they want me to swear that I'm not lying that I received back a bunch of garbage instead of what I initially sent to this buyer. And as a result of that, I get this response a few days later. Thank you for contacting eBay back promptly and for providing us the most needed documentation and support to the return claim filed by buyer. I appreciate all the efforts you have exerted to help us resolve this issue by duly accomplishing the affidavit we had sent to you. With this information you have provided, I took the initiative to grant your appeal with a full refund. Please note further that you are not required to issue a refund or any replacement. You already ran me over with that. Uh, and took the money and now basically you're returning it. The case is now resolved and you have nothing to worry about. The case will not count as a defect from your monthly evaluation and your funds will be released back to your account within 24 to 48 hours. It took a little longer than that by the way and because you have enough evidence to prove that the buyer committed a fraud in returning the item I encourage you to anonymously report the buyer to us. Here's how log into your account, hover your mouse, you, you see all of that there. Basically, they want me to file a complaint against the buyer, click the option, report the buyer. We will use this data to help identify bad buying behaviors across our marketplace and help protect sellers against buyers who repeatedly misuse the eBay marketplace. You, wanna, you want to punish buyers who repeatedly misuse the eBay marketplace how about you turn the neutral and negative feedback back on? Because as a seller, 
you are forbidden from leaving a neutral or negative feedback on a buyer. It can't be done. But that's a great warning for potential sellers where they see somebody has a crap ton of negative feedback. Okay, something's wrong here. Because as a seller, if you get a lot of negative or neutral feedback, eBay automatically starts putting restrictions on you. But buyers don't have that problem anymore. They've got nothing to worry about as far as screwing over sellers again and again. And by the way, because this is eBay money back guarantee, this is eBay's insurance. So that person still has their, what was it, $109.90. eBay didn't turn around and take the money back from them. They paid me out of their insurance. So they got a full refund, still have two of my boxes and one of the dolls. Actually, they still have, for all I know, all three of the dolls because I don't know that these are mine. So they have their full refund. I just got reimbursed through eBay's insurance. And folks, that's some of the nightmare of trying to sell on eBay. And again, I know there's Macari, there's Facebook Marketplace, there's whatever. Craigslist, Craigslist is the worst of the bunch, by the way. None of them are perfect. And you're going to find problems like this with all of them. And like I said, as bad as a lot of sellers can be, sellers can be really shady sometimes. They can be misleading. They're terrible with packing, a lot of them. But the uh, buyers are much worse. Buyers are much worse, in my experience. Thoughts? <laughs> I know it's a lot to unpack. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. If you run into problems like this, uh, tell your story. Tell your story. It needs to be heard. Uh, please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Share it if you can. All that good stuff. And if that's it, then what more can I say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.